Now the rear piece of the dune buggy or go-kart, whatever you want to call this thing, is really easy to install. It has three places where it screws into the frame, two on top and one on bottom. Let's go ahead and set it up. You're ready to start screwing. Now, sometimes whenever people build their own custom frames, instead of having one V piece in the back, they have two pieces, one here and one here, same with the front. But uh, whatever you want is really up to you if you decide to weld your own personal preference. So now, let's go ahead and screw this baby into place. Now the screws that they use for this are the same screws, except instead of two sides, they only have one. They have, of course, the bolt and that little nut that has the contour so the pipe fits on it. Now make sure this is pretty tight as well because of course you don't want the roll bar coming off whenever you flip this baby in and get a crash. It's there to keep you safe. So here we have the middle section as well as the rear section of the roll bar. Now the only other thing we have left to do with the roll bar is install the front section which consists of two pipes going from down there to up there. Alright guys, the last thing we need to do for the roll bar is we need to install the front section. Now a lot of people whenever they build custom roll bars, then they weld it together pretty much on the corners so it would go somewhere from the light right here to the light up here and also from the light down here to the light up here. But I really don't like them on the corners because whenever you're turning around the corner in the go-kart, it's kind of annoying, it kind of gets in your way in your field of vision, so I prefer them to be in the middle. That's why I like uh, this design. That way, whenever you're driving straight, you're good to go, and then whenever you want to turn around the corners, you're good to go as well. So I have two pipes that I'm going to put on each one of them is going to bolt on the bottom and on the top, and then our roll bar is complete. So let's go ahead and bolt the bottom section first. Make sure your nuts are facing the right way. Now all we have to do is tighten up the top section and we'll be good to go. Looks good. So now your roll bar is complete. Congratulations. We put the middle section in, made sure we hooked up the electrical. We put the back section in and also the front section. So this should keep your uh, machine more stable and also you a little bit more safe. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to put on the front bumper and then we can move on to the seat, seat belt, and finally ride this baby.